Alright people and I'm back Coming at you with our first video for Gen 9 Today we're not going to be battling hence the Calm Mind intro I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the current Gen 9 I haven't been playing competitive Pokemon for that long but um, I love the game I love getting better at, every, at anything I try so I'm going to get my thoughts and discussions from my point of view uh, What I think of the overall metagame This metagame is extremely fun Extremely fast pace, I might add, but uh, I overall I enjoy it. What is what it is so far? I made a list of a few things that I want to touch on, talk about, share my thoughts on and opinions on those type of things. If you do enjoy the videos, as always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're on our way to 100 subscribers, I suppose. I mean, let me show you what I want to talk about essentially. First on the menu is the top ones. There's just so many broken things in the tier at the moment. Everything is overpowered. Everything is just hitting hard. Everything is a threat. But these are the guys I've considered the most broken of all. Roaring Moon, especially with that new item booster energy. Elephant Hero is just broken beyond, like beyond measure. Uh, if I don't think this thing will be a threat in National Dex, if National Dex includes Gen 9 Pokemon, with. Terrestrialize, gone and all that. But yeah, these are the Pokemon. Fluttermane. Getting a speed boost for free on switching just once. Great Tusk. So strong with the attack. So tanky. Almost never dies in one. This Chien Pao. Mm, so far so strong. It's Weavile on steroids. And the Shed Tail and the Cyclozar. Just getting free substitutes for every Dragon Dancer. For every offensive Pokemon. These Pokemon are so strong. I haven't seen an OU metagame with Pokemon that are... Uh, so insanely fast, so insanely strong, and that don't require much thinking. I've seen games where you just throw in your Roaring Moon as your last Pokemon. You get a lucky Dragon Dance and you terrestrialize into a, a lucky type, normally flying. And you're essentially plus two attack. And you just sweep the entire team and they can't they can't destroy you. So yeah, these there's so many broken threads. I can't wait till Terry action takes place until the metagame settles down. So we can see exactly and I want I want to see an honest view of what gen 9 will look like more or less you know but uh, speaking of an honest view of and broken things next things that i want to talk about is items and mechanics that need to go terrestrialize it's almost as broken as dynamax in my opinion i think dynamax took way too long to get banned uh even though it didn't take that long i hope terrestrialize that the people can that smogon doesn't allow it to stay for too long when terrestrialize goes I believe that a lot of Pokemon that are broken will settle down. They'll be a lot easier to handle, a lot more normal, a lot less complicated, a lot less brain dead in a sense. Because right now, most of the teams you just throw in your offensive threat, get a boost automatically, get something cool automatically, no like a free reward for no risk. And uh, I'm not a fan of Pokemon being played like that. Easy to use stuff. Although you need to get those easy to use Pokemon here and there. But there needs to be some counterplay, some risk. You know, there shouldn't just be no drawback, easy to use, no no risk, and then you you you're good to go. Anyone can use one size fits all. And the booster energy, that's also a broken thing that needs to go. It's not fair that something can just come in, get big for no reason, for free, with no drawback. Even if it's only single use. Uh, it's quite difficult to force out a, a Pokemon that's Boost that's got boost energy, it's got its energy boosted to the sky. And small players will do what small players do, they will EV and IV their guys to boost the right stuff, they'll send their guys in at the right time, boost at the right time, terrestrialize to the right type, and just sweep the game as easy as that. Although that will require some thought, you know, just think of certain situations where you terrestrialize something into a, a fire type at the right moment because your team covers most of the weaknesses here and then you've done over calcs. To show that fire type is the best type you need to change into and then the team will work like this set up rocks here do this you turn here chip them down chip them down and then suddenly you get your fire your your rock and electric type in change to fire type and nobody can touch you because your team is put in the work i know people think to that degree sometimes and that might be a problem so boost energy and terrestrialize have to go it's not healthy in my opinion it's uh it's like rule changing essentially and I'm not a fan of rule changing. Like imagine in, in football, English football, there was a rule where for 10 minutes, your, your forwards could start dribbling the ball with their hands if they wanted to, or picking the ball up and passing it like a rugby ball. Just for 10 minutes, you know, or just for, for one minute even. That would be broken. 
So I consider Terrestrialize in that regard. It's, it's, it's rule changing. Same with the booster energy. These need to go as soon as possible so we can have some honest Pokemon games going on. Okay, just a quick heads up. I just thought I'd quickly share battle with you because I've been dropping big words like Terrestrialize and turning into fire type. Some people might not know exactly what we're talking about. That being said, I'll show you just now after this turn proceeds. I'm not really too worried about the results and the outcome of the battle. Good play by the opponent, but this little button here, Terrestrialize, you get to choose what type your Pokemon essentially transforms into. I chose this one to be a ghost. If you leave it, if you don't choose, it will just choose one of your stabs at random, I believe. But uh, once you transform, you turn into that type and you gain the same type attack bonus or your ghost moves get improved. But you don't lose the bonuses you had for, from when you were ground and fighting type. As I am here. That being said, that's what Terra ter Slice is. Can't believe I was faster. <laughs> Let me just rapid spin sweep this fool. Uh, it's the power of these Pokemon. The defensive Rotom just getting dropped. One miss, game over. Essentially game over. There's nothing they can go for that can catch up to me. Having said, I'm not here for the battle, not here to talk about the, the game. I'm here to talk about um, Terrestrialize. As they go as quickly there. Oh my goodness. See how broken the Pokemon are. As this, this just shows off what I was uh, talking about. They're gonna bullet punch and kill me here, which is fine. Come to this guy and sack this guy. Which is cool. Now, see, I can turn this guy into a normal type as discussed. So you basically change your type. So hopefully that explanation helps a little bit as to what Aristalize is and what it's about. And then again, the, the boost to energy, if you didn't know what I was talking about, I know not all my fans play Pokemon. Let me discuss this part as well. Boost to energy, it, uh, it's a consumable item and it boosts your highest stat upon switching. My highest stat turns out to be speed, so I'm plus one speed essentially. I'm not sure on the, on the stats bar, but uh, essentially I'm running with plus one speed. My speed is increased by 50%. Um, and I can turn this thing into a regular ghost type. So they're gonna go sizzle here. And should I terrestrialize? I don't think I have to. But I will not. The bullet punch. I'm gonna terrestrialize into a steel type. And if you terrestrialize into a type that you are already, forgot to mention, you gain adaptability boosted on this on the on the move. Instead of just a regular stab bonus. So you get a times two boost. So turning into a pure steel type here, see how much damage I do? Way, way too much. I still might lose the game, sadly. Unless, let's just see if Sizzle can just smoke him as I lose. Oh, how nice, how fun. Draco Media about to put me in a hole. Because my attack stack was higher, I'm going to lose. Acrobatics. <gasps> That's Pokemon for you, folks. Anyways, back to the video. That being said, Skull, we love it, we hate it, but we need it back. A lot of broken stuff are broken because the defensive Pokemon can't threaten them. And it's a problem. Skull was a, a very useful move that we had. I love the, the, t the stall nurse. We'll talk about that later. But uh, we need Skull back. Lots of defensive Pokemon lost their greatest tool to be valuable. I mean, sure, some of them got new tools here and there, but they need Skull. There's certain Pokemon that can just stay in on them bulky Pokemon because there's no toxic. There's no skull anymore in the game. There's no knockoff threat. It's a problem. We need those moves back. Apparently, we're not going to get them, so... Oof. I love it and hate it at the same time. I'm more of the offensive-minded Pokemon player, so I lean more to offense than to defense. So, I'm, th I'm leaning to more, more towards the side of, I love this. Stop burning me. Stop getting lucky with the 30% chances, but... It's still something we need, you know? You can't just... Almost autopilot. Like, this is my opportunity. With no risk, you need to take some risks here in the end Pokemon. But, uh, Skull, Toxic, we miss you. We need it back. Don't think we're gonna get it. If we don't, so be it. We'll make do without it. As long as Terrestrialize and that other nonsense goes. Uh, what else was there? Other cool things that I think of the gen? The Pokemon are so cool. Nice designs, nice stats. Cool abilities. I just thought I'd highlight a few Pokemon that are nice, like this Chiyu, Sea Titan, oof, the Belly Drum with the Snow Boost to Ice types. So cool. Cool new moves in the game. 
Slow King getting this chilly reception move, just switching out and setting up the snow, boosting the ice types. Garchomp and Quagsire, Quagsire of all things getting spikes, toxic spikes. Garchomp getting spikes and rocks, oh it's so good. Cool new abilities like this Earthworm, getting the Earth immune to steel types. Wow, cool moves, cool abilities, they've really outdone themselves this generation. Uh, very very nice. I, I can't wait till the dust settles like I said, until the PU tier is established. That's when I consider the dust settled. The PU tier established with all available Pokemon. Not, yeah, all available Pokemon back in the game. The unreleased ones, I need them. I need to see them. I want to see what work they can put in. Then I consider the dust being settled. You know? Because there's still elements of surprise and, and changes coming our way when, when new things get banned and new things get added and things get reintroduced and things change here and there, moves get banned perhaps potentially. But yeah, love the new moves, love the new distribution of moves, love the new mechanics such as, uh, oh not new, yeah, new mechanics such as Shed Tail and Snow Boosting uh, Ice Type Defense. I love those mechanics. Not the broken mechanics, I love the, the mechanics that makes sense. Lastly, or close to the end, underrated guys and guys that are so cool in my opponent, in my opinion, for this meta, this crazy crazy unknown territory that we are in at the moment when it comes to Gen 9 singles, uh, 6v6 singles that is. Priority moves, the best priority users, Sizzle and Bellum. Sizzle and Bellum, are, they have super effective priority against majority on super effective or neutral priority against majority of the top Pokemon look at your Roaring Moon look at your Flutter Main if Flutter Main is still available in the tier before this video gets set up this Glamora Pokemon setting up hazards spinning hazards away setting up toxic spikes for free all in one Goldango oh what a nice Pokemon nice ghost steel typing we, we need good Pokemon like this you know solid Pokemon in the tier Cool Pokemon, then this Don Dozo is, is the Quagsire on steroids, the old Quagsire. Chesto Resto set is probably for the cursed Chesto Resto. No physical walls breaking through this nonsense. Uh, and Amoongus is also like one of the best defensive Pokemon in the tier because it checks the top threats. It checks your Palafin, basically. <laughs> what more do you need? So, yeah. Lots of cool underrated Pokemon that I can't wait to see. Uh, what's next? Can't wait for the lower tiers. There's a lot of cool Pokemon that are not seeing any love because everybody's busy with the broken stuff. You get the one or two guys, the odd player here and there, using these random Pokemon that are not too bad stat wise and have potential here and there. Like the pseudo legendary of this generation. Cool ability, so cool, so unique. Nice typing, nice stats all around. It's slacking because everything else is fast paced. This thing's too slow. Everything else is strong. This thing's not that defensive, even though it's got high HP and not so bad defenses, but it's it's it's, it's too weak. Everything's too fast and too strong, and this thing doesn't match up with any of those things because everything's like getting automated boosts all over the show. You know, everything's starting with steroids, and this thing has to, you know, put in all the hard work itself, dragon dancing like normal instead of injecting steroids. Turn one, cool Pokemon like this Veluza fish. Nice moves like this for layaway, shell smash but costing HP, such cool things that are undiscovered, uncharted territory for the most part. You don't see its potential shining through in the most part because everything else is overshadowing these cool Pokemon. The starters, only the grass starter I see here and there on the ladder because it was overhyped in my opinion by a few competitive players, but uh, these Pokemon have such massive potential. In the lower tiers, I believe. Not an overused. Even when the dust settles and everything's there, I think these will be lower tier Pokemon. Can't wait to see how the dust will settle. That's exciting to me. Can't wait to use these in the lower tiers. I will be playing here and there. Probably not so much on camera about uh, Gen 9 vibes, that is. Because uh, mm, I'm a lower tier player and it's only OU at the moment, so we'll wait and see what's what. Once the dust settles, I can actually go back to National Dex UU if they introduce all these Pokemon. That would be amazing. Lastly, thank you. No more store. Well, store is viable in my. It always will be viable. Store players do what store players do best. They find a way. They create something out of nothing. They find Pokemon that fit on this archetype. 
But uh, if I if I only 8 PP on the software, only 8 PP on the heel belt, and I can play a game where I have to sit eight soft boils down rather than 16. Give me a moment, let me just kill this annoying mosquito. Give me a moment. Alright, and I missed. But uh, I will find that, that mosquito again and I will kill it. That being said, thank goodness, no more long, drawn out, boring games. So thank you. Store took a nice, nice, well deserved hit, in my opinion. But as stated, Store will do what Store does best. The Scarlet Nerve and the Toxic Nerve also significantly weaken Store for now, if not forever. Which is perfect. I love it. Thank you for that. Uh, I don't think anybody on the internet loves seeing long drawn out games. Not for the faint hearted, it's, it's quite shameful in a sense also. So everyone loves seeing store being destroyed, so I'm, I'm happy for this. That's my thoughts, quick, kind of quick impressions on Gen 9. Uh, not too in depth if you will. Let me know in the comments what your favorite things are about Gen 9. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, top Pokemon are for the generation. I've listed my not my top six, but just ones that I see on the regular that are putting in easy work, good work. And let me know what, what you think about the future of Gen 9. What do you want gone? What do you want to see? What do you want back? What are you excited for in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, if I don't upload videos daily, because I haven't been uploading daily lately, don't worry, I'm still around for those of you who are wondering. If you did enjoy the video nonetheless, thank you for watching. I ask that you leave a like and subscribe we will be doing a lot more of these uh, thoughts videos and battles coming soon until further ado we'll be both switching out hitting the likes thanks for watching